Volumes of Prisms. Let's explore how to find the volume of rectangular and triangular prisms. Triangular and rectangular prisms are 3D shapes. A prism is defined by a 3D shape that has parallel bases. If you look here, I am outlining the triangular bases and you can see they are on opposite sides and will run parallel. Same with over here, I am outlining the rectangular bases, they are the top and the bottom which will run parallel. So when we're talking about big B, big B stands for the area of the base and the base is in the name. So rectangular prism have a rectangle as the base, which is length times width. A triangular prism has a triangle as the base, and the area formula for the triangle is one half BH, or half of the base times the height. Why are these important? Well, let's talk about how to identify the pieces. First thing here I'm doing is identifying the base. The base, of course, is created by the length and the width. Then we also have the third dimension, which is the height of the shape, the height will go away from the bases, or it will connect the bases, they're parallel, it will connect the bases. That is the height of the shape. Remember, to find volume, it's big B times H, where big B represents the area of the base. So that means if I give you measurements for this rectangular prism, we're going to go ahead and solve for volume. First thing we have to do is find big B, or the area of the base. That here is just 4 times 5, which is 20. Then we identify the height of the shape, which is 10. Rectangular prism should be a review. So now we're going to go ahead and just multiply what we found. Volume equals 20 times 10. So the volume of this rectangular prism is 200 units cubed. Remember, three-dimensional shapes, volume is capacity, so it's cubed. Next, let's look at our triangular prism. Here's the base, and we have different measurements going on here that we have to make sure we understand. The diagonals are never the height, so if you have a triangle where both sides are diagonal, you need to look for that straight up and down line. You also need to identify the height of the shape. So we take big B times H, meaning we have to find big B. Again, as a review, capital B is the area of the base shape. Here, the base shape is a triangle. So therefore, we need to use the area formula for a triangle. Area formula is, for a triangle, 1 half BH, the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. Now I'm going to go ahead and substitute the area formula in for big B. So all I've done is taken big B and replaced it with 1 half BH. That way I can substitute all of my numbers in. Here I have found there's the height of the shape which is 10, the base of the triangle which is 5, and the height of the triangle that is 4. I'm going to fill each of these in. First of all, the area formula is 1 half times 4 times 5 and that's all going to be multiplied by 10, which is the height of the shape. So we're going to find half of 20. This should sound similar to the rectangular prism that was 20. The triangle is half of that. So we have 10 times 10, so that the volume of this triangular prism is 100 units cubed. Here is a direct comparison to show the same height, the same width. However, a triangle will be one half BH versus a rectangle, which is just length times width. Volumes of the prisms, B equals capital B times H, where capital B is the area of the base.